Hey guys, Dan Clark here. I'm going to show you a quick video on how to create a group and what you can use that for. Um, so I'm going to start off just by placing a few lights here in this building. I've already got it pulled up here. It's a troffer light, 120 volt, 2x4. Um, I'm just going to place them in my building here every so often. And then we're going to align them with the grid system so they line up in the ceiling. So I used AL, which is my shortcut for align. And then I just click what I want what I want to align them to and do that for all of them. Now one more. So then they're evenly spaced. So I'll escape out of that and what you want to do is come up here and then you click on the modify button and get out of your align tool, press escape. So then you click this button here that says create group and then that brings up this menu of what you want to name it and I'm going to name mine vestibule lighting. And it's going to be a model group. Click OK. And then this will let me click on things to add them to my group. So I'll click Add. And then and click all three of my lights. And then Finish. And I guess I should have explained this before. Um, but basically what you use this for is so you can select a bunch of different components all at once. And you can like copy and paste it to use it somewhere else in the building. So this particular building, I made this in one of my classes. It's a law office building, but right here is um, going to be one of the doors. And so in this vestibule here, there's going to be lights on both levels. So I put those into level one, and level two currently doesn't have any lights. So I'm going to place some using my uh, group that I just made. So, let's see, I want to, oh, not that one. So I want to click on the group, and then I'm just going to control C to copy it. Then I'll come up to level 2, and then I'll control V, and then I can place it wherever it needs to go. So it looks like right there is where I had it on level 1. And that's kind of the basics to it. And if you didn't select everything the first time, you can edit your group. You click on your group, and then you go to edit. And then say I want to remove this one, or if I placed another one, I could add it. And then I'll click finish. And then the, the next time I mess with my group, then it won't have it in there. 